Hello, this is Push That Rock for Simpson Mac. Today, I'm going to tell you what a vector is. It's going to help you with your first task. A vector is a list of numbers. So, a vector with n entries belongs to n space, denoted rn. We read this rn, not r to the n, just rn. This is math Euclid font, and this is a superscript n. So here the list of numbers 1, 2, 3 is a vector. It has three entries, so it belongs to three space, three dimensional space. That's the space I'm walking around in right now. And we denote three space with R3. Now we're going to limit our discussion to two dimensional vectors. So that means they're just going to have two entries, very short lists. So for example, 3, negative 4 is a list of numbers. That makes it a vector, therefore it belongs to two space. The um, list one half and root three over two, that's a pair of numbers. So that is a list of two numbers. So that belongs to two space and would denote two space with R2. And you can represent vectors quite obviously in two dimensional space with a point. In other words, a vector in two space is an ordered pair. Those things you were introduced to in seventh grade. Now, you're going to have to tell me how to compute two key characteristics of any given two-space vector. So every vector, and I'm going to quote from Despicable Me now, has two key characteristics, that being its magnitude and direction. And so I'm going to define, and this is where you pay very close attention, magnitude and direction, because you're going to have to tell me how to compute those for any given two-space vector. The magnitude is the distance from the origin to the vector. So the magnitude is that distance. Or for the other vector I have on the board, the magnitude is that distance. Direction is the angle in standard position where the magnitude is used as the terminal side. So this is the direction. Or that's a negative angle. Or this is the direction for 3, negative 4. And for this little vector here, this angle would be the direction. So obviously we can represent the direction multiple ways, but the magnitude is only one number because the distance is a single number. Your task is to tell me how to compute the magnitude for any two-dimensional vector and tell me how to find the direction for any two-dimensional vector and connect it to the definition of the trig functions. Do it with a YouTube video under three minutes. You must have all the components and be under three minutes. Bonus points if you can do it under two minutes and still be thorough. Success starts here at Temple College.